a little bit about the mindset piece as well. And I want to um, throw it back to, you know, if how you decide if you need a team when you scale um, and, and the mindset that goes into that. What, right. what are your thoughts on that? So I think there's two different mindsets that we should talk about. The first one is about the shift between I'm doing this on my own to I'm going to bring on other people and grow the business. And then the second mindset shift is really about money, taking yeah. it from a hobby to a true money producing business. So yeah. the first one, I mean, how do you know when you when you want to even grow your business? When I first started my business, I was like, I will never have employees. I don't want to deal with that. I just want to be me. But I quickly realized a, it's not that fun by myself. I'm a very social person and I collaborate well with others, but I don't do well with a lot of decision making totally on my own. Mm -hmm. So I was like, man, this is not really as fun as working somewhere because I'm by myself. So growing to a team made sense for me almost socially, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. And then also on jobs, I realized we can get a lot more done quickly with more than one person and we can serve more clients with more than one person. So I realized in order to really serve my community well, it made sense to expand my team. So, Yeah, I, um, I did not have the same struggles. So let's look at that a little bit. I don't really miss the collaboration on a day-to-day -day basis, but I do miss it having ideas and, and decision-making someone to bounce off of. So I put together a virtual team that are experts in the various areas and they help me when those things come up. Some right. of them are every week. Some of them are, are occasional, but um, yeah. And then it, it becomes, do you have a system that you can train your employees so that they are matching your business model and your expectations and things. Right. So it's, it's a, uh, yeah, a problem. <laughs> I've definitely had a combination of what you call your virtual team and mm -hmm. real life people. I guess the other ones are real life. They're just virtual, but you know what right. I mean? People yeah, that work in your in, space with yes, you. Yes, in person, <laughs> side by side. So I've had a combination of that. I've had, you know, my accountant does, I don't, bring him into my office. My HR consultant, I don't bring her in here. I've had business coaches. I've worked with people through SCORE, which is a free you know, business consulting service. Um, I've worked with a lot of those people as well, but really growing the actual employee part of my business really transformed my business in a totally different way. And it, I think it is a matter of personal preference and how you wanna do things. It's, yeah. it's your business, right? You can do what exactly. you want. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of impact do you want to have? So it, all of that is part of the mindset thing. Like what right. is your vision for your business? And it comes down to, it's kind of tied to the same issue we talked about before where people put off systems for a long time. They also put off figuring out what they want their business to actually look like. The True. fear kind of gets them to start with very baby steps. And then if it starts taking off, then they get excited about it. And then they got to backtrack a little bit. Right. I'm, there's, I'm all about imagineering. A whole, <laughs> yeah, there's a whole lot of work that goes into having employees. I mean, it mm -hmm. for me, it pays off. It's well worth it. But there is a lot of work and a lot of mindset shift that had to take place. Um, I met, I was introduced to a lady through a mutual business friend who said this lady would be fantastic organizer. You should hire her. And I was at the very beginning of my business and I was like, no, 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 I don't know about <laughs> that. So I was like, let me meet her, get to know her. And I think I knew her for six months before I actually hired her because I wow. was not sure that's the route I wanted to go. Yeah. It's so. hard. It's a hard decision.